Good morning, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your star sign readings. Um, and today we are doing a reading for Pisces. Pisces, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> All right. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I think I already said that, so I've probably said it twice, so double the gratitude there. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love to have you on board. Please make sure when you're pressing the subscription button that you hit the bell so you're reminded when I go live or when I am posting new content. Um, if you feel this reading doesn't resonate with you, um, it is really good idea to check out other aspects of your natal chart, such as your moon, your rising or ascendant, and also your Venus. Um, very easy to do. Google natal chart, put in your details, and it will tell you everything about where you were, where the planets were, were when you were born. It's really enlightening, actually, and you can get a free report with many channels. We have the hanged man coming through, which actually is the card of Pisces. So that's quite interesting. Something you've got to think differently about this week, Pisces. Something you're being asked. Princess of Swords. Yeah, you're doing research. There is something you are being asked to look at differently this week. Something that you've been looking at a certain way for a very long time that is no longer right. You have to look at it differently. Uh, been a lot of messages coming through about trust. So maybe you need to let the past go and just trust that you have the capacity to fulfill whatever desire you want to fulfill. Um, but if the reading does resonate with you, as always, I do ask that you give it a thumbs up. I ask that you um, show me some gratitude and I'll say thank you to you in advance. All right, so we're going to use the Celestial Tarot for your reading today. And let's see where the universe is taking us this morning. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles coming through. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a card that talks about, really about teamwork. It talks about people working together. Now, for me, the card, the traditional card shows people in a chapel, showing plans or contracts, and it looks like there's some sort of discussion around um, building something, a church, which sort of gives rise to this idea of the card being very traditional commitment. For me, the card often comes through when you have a very strong soul tie to someone and I feel it's sort of part of that contract you made with somebody before you came to the planet um, to work with them in, on this journey. So people who could be included in your soul contract, maybe friends and family, but moreover, it comes through when you have a very close connection to a soulmate, twin flame, or those sort of energies that keep you very tied to a person. But definitely here feeling some sort of soul contract coming through. Now we do have the five of wands coming through here. So there is some sort of decision here that you are trying to... I don't feel like it's, a mis it's not a decision where you're trying to make your mind up between two options. For me, the Five of Wands is sort of about competition. It's about fighting for something. Sometimes it can be with other people, but sometimes we do this with ourselves. You know, and, and you may be going backwards and forwards on something here because you may have an opportunity to move forward on something, but you're stuck in this indecision here with this Five of Wands. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. So what I see here is an offer coming through for commitment, an offer coming through that is part of your soul contract. But for some reason here with this Five of Wands, you're deliberating on whether this is something you want to move towards or whether it's something that you feel you want to let go of. And this is that trust energy that was coming up in the beginning. The idea that you have to trust your own judgment. You can never trust the other person. You can never trust another person until you've built the trust within them. So you can't just make a decision based on face value or based on your past experiences. You use them to help you make a decision for yourself. So the Ace of Pentacles tells me that an offer is being made here. The Nine of Pentacles, I love coming out at this point, and the Sun, because I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very self-sufficient, very in touch with their own emotion, very in touch with their core being, could be a Leo. But whoever this person is, they are very 
very attractive to you on all levels, very attractive to you physically, emotionally. They probably have done very well for themselves in life or are starting to create something beautiful for themselves. This energy is coming through as new energy, but what I'm feeling here is you may be worried or, or concerned about taking this offer based in your past experiences, not in what's coming towards you. So let's have a look and see where we're going. Very much the energy today in the universe. Now you could be dealing with another water sign here, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I'm not feeling that. I feel like this is your energy here. I feel that you are really in love with this person. I feel that your cup is running over. You're feeling very, very attracted to them. But there is a doubt within you that is creating this feeling that you cannot trust this offer. So what I want to say to you here is there is a real need for you to here to really drop into your heart space. You know, if you're really in love with this person and you feel that they're really attractive to you, that you feel that you can have a future with them, I would say to you, don't not trust where you're going. Trust it. You know, at the end of the day, it's always about if the trust fails or if you feel that you have made some sort of decision that isn't in your best interest, then trust you have the capacity to deal with that in the long run. Because it's all about trusting yourself this week in the readings. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups coming through. What more could you ask for? This particular situation is going to offer you everything you want. I feel like you've fallen in love with someone that you didn't expect to fall in love with. That's what's coming through very strongly. And now you're worried that you can't trust yourself to move any further because of your doubts and fears of the past. Seven of Pentacles coming through with the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. There is an opportunity here that you asked for. There's an opportunity for you to progress something that you've always wanted. This is something that lies deep within you that you've always wanted. Always wanted. But your fears are holding you back here. It's that devil energy. All right, so we have the hanged man. That is what came through at the beginning. So this is the card of Pisces. But what the hanged man talks about is looking at things from a different perspective. You're stuck in the position, you're stuck in the energy of victim mentality. Things have gone wrong in the past. How can I trust this? Somebody hurt me in the past. How can I expect this person won't hurt me? You have to take a leap of faith here. It's very full energy. So what we're looking at here is you learning to look at it from do I have the capacity to manage this or handle this if it doesn't go the way I want to because it's all about your personal strengths. You cannot put all of your power into somebody else to fulfill your world. It doesn't work that way. So if you want it, you've got to go for it here. All right, so we have the Hierophant coming through and the Moon. Again with major arcanas in the second row. Spirit manages this nearly every time for me. It's pretty amazing. So the Moon card talks about the unknown and the Hierophant talks about being strong and steady, understanding what you're powerful about or understanding what you're capable of. And what this says to me is there is a need for you to look at the capacity of what you have rather than looking into the unknown here. So it's very much full energy taking a leap of faith. But what it is more than that is trusting yourself not relying on these past hidden emotions to dictate to you where you're going. This is about just trusting yourself moving forward. Queen of Swords coming through with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is an incredible opportunity for you to go into a new situation that you can build with this person. I feel like this person with that Three of Pentacles has been with you in lifetimes before. You are meant to be together. And we have the lovers card at the end gemini energy so a lot of pisces a lot of gemini a lot of water energy in this reading and a, and taurus as well so what i'm feeling here is this person is coming in to offer you a beautiful opportunity you have been divinely brought to each other here with the lovers card two people who have been brought together as part of some sort of soul contract here so what you've got to remember here with this three of pentacles is you're going to build with this person this person is meant to be with you you are a team there is a lot of deliberation here but what you're doing is like you're building competition within yourself and the universe is saying this is an opportunity beyond all opportunities here 
you are definitely in the right place with the nine of pentacles and the sun energy and we do have the chariot here so you could be dealing with the cancer but this is forward movement i feel like once you get past that five of wands energy once you let go of these fears and these doubts you can trust yourself here to move forward and have great happiness here very leo cancer energy coming through here which is absolutely beautiful so it's like everything is right here everything looks good but you know what if things aren't going to turn out or things weren't going to go in the right direction you can't just you can't just not do it because you're fearful you have to have a go at it you have to trust that you have the capacity to deal with it that is what the universe is saying here go for it have fun with it do it don't worry about what can go wrong R worry about what could be right worry about you know how you would manage it if things didn't go the way you wanted to but i feel like more here they're saying to you just give up the worry don't 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 do that just go with the fool just jump out and take a leap of faith ten of swords letting go of the energy of not trusting beautiful the eight of cups walking away from things that in your life that do not serve you you have the strength card here this is beautiful so what they're saying here is you have to close down your negative thinking walk away from it here with the eight of cups and step into your power here with the strength card so whatever you're doing here these doubts and fears are unfounded you're doing it past like based in your past experiences whoever this person is they have been brought to you by the divine they are meant to be on your pathway they are here to build with you build some sort of empire with that three of pentacles whoever this person is is so attractive to you they may be quite breathtaking with that sort of nine of pentacles sun card it's like they shine light into your soul this person really lights up your life all right let's get an oracle card here this person brings so much joy to you. They make you feel alive. They bring you such happiness and make you feel childlike. But you can't not trust where you're going with this. Whoa. Interesting. All right. As I always say. Card number two, second ray of wisdom. Have a good look at that card because it's just about to bring you a really good message here. The second ray of wisdom is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore and understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. The spiritual master known as the Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessings of this ray of light from the universe. The second ray of wisdom is the energy of the open and loving heart of the universe. It is inclusive, drawing all things towards it with an invisible magnetism. It is gifted to you at this time to help you attract into your life the people, opportunities and teachings that will help you succeed in your life mission. This ray will help you focus your consciousness in your heart. It will bring consciousness to any unresolved matters of the heart for healing. This includes not only issues of relationship, but also any issues around trusting your heart to lead you. This ray will help you heal your heart in an affirming and nurturing way. I feel like here this card is saying to you that you need to open your heart to be more trusting, more loving, abundant and find enjoyable ways to live. Perhaps you've had bad experiences in the past that have held you back, but I feel like here... It's really important for you to understand how to let the bad experiences go and not let them sort of sh put shadows over a new experience here. I will read you the invocation here because I feel that here you can invoke something as part of your prayer. It says here, I now accept of my own free will the blessing and grace of the second ray of wisdom in my life. Through unconditional love and divine mercy, I open my heart with joy to the magnetic and creative field of attraction. I gratefully open up to all abundance in all ways with trust, wisdom and serenity. The universe provides all that I want and need with grace, love and perfect timing. 
Thank you, universe. I call upon the loving assistance of the genuine ascended master known as Buddha in all aspects of this process so that all beings can receive the loving benefit of this spiritual gift according to divine compassion. Through grace, so let it be. All right, I will leave you with that. That was a beautiful card to get. I knew they were going to give you something about trust in there. Thank you.